Mike here to go over the install and the results of the JMS BoostMax on our 2014 2.0 Fusion EcoBoost. The BoostMax is an alternative to tuning that claims to be warranty friendly with no flashing of the ECU. To get results, the BoostMax connects to the MAP sensor, tip sensor, and pedal sensor. It uses a microprocessor to interpret and translate the readings from these sensors, resulting in a simple and effective increase in power. The install shouldn't take more than an hour. Tools required are a flathead screwdriver, T30 torque, seven, eight, and 10 millimeter socket, jack and jack stands to get under the car. The install is pretty straightforward. It mainly involves disconnecting the pigtail and reconnecting it with the Boost Max inline. The first sensor is the map sensor. It's very easy to find right near the top of the motor. Next is the tip sensor. For this one, you're gonna need to remove the undercarriage. You can't see it from here, but it's located just above the intercooler piping. We found the best method for getting the wires through the firewall is to remove the battery in the battery tray. This gives you easy access to an existing location. Once the wires are through, you can pull away the carpet and then tuck it back in when you're done. Lastly, is the pedal sensor. Another very easy to find pigtail. Disconnect it plug it back in. We mounted our adjustable knob just under the dash within reach of the driver. All right, we just finished the install. Now for the part that everybody cares about, the results. I'm gonna strap it down to the dyno for a before and after comparison. Okay, we're all strapped down on the dyno and we're ready to go. We've got our adjustable knob right here under the dash. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to zero which is no adjustment from the Boost Max. We're gonna make our baseline pull, see what kind of power it puts down, and then we'll crank up the knob and do it again. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit it again. I'm gonna turn the knob up to 100%. Just finished up on the dyno and the results are really good. At 4,000 RPM, we're seeing a gain of 70 foot-pounds of torque and 55 horsepower. At the top of the curve, we're seeing 29 horsepower and 57 foot-pounds of torque. When we're talking about a product that you can simply install, adjust the knob, no tuning required, this is very impressive. And the better part is that you can simply unplug it, disconnect it, it's back to stock, no warranty concerns. I must say, after testing this product, the Boost Max on our 2014 EcoBoost Fusion 2.0 is impressive.